And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Legion Stadium in Wilmington, North Carolina. Thanks for joining us tonight on USLLive.com. I'm Chris Leibert. I'll be your host for tonight's United Soccer League's act action featuring the visiting Pittsburgh Riverhounds and the home side Wilmington Hammerheads. Looks to be another great matchup. It's the third time this season that these two clubs have met. The Hammerheads defeated the Riverhounds 3-1 back in April here on this very field at Legion. And the two tied 0-0 two weeks ago in Pittsburgh. Uh, the Hammerheads enter tonight's game with 14 points in eight games, second from the bottom in the American Division with a 4-2-2 record, but have played about four games less than the division leader Orlando City. Pittsburgh has nine points in 11 games with two wins, six losses, and three ties. Uh, it's a beautiful evening here tonight, a little warm, about 83 degree, 83 degrees. There's a stiff little breeze blowing, and uh, we're getting ready to have these two teams take the field. Your Wilmington Hammerheads will be in a Carolina blue and white striped jersey, white shorts and white socks. And the Riverhounds are going to be in an all blue side. Pittsburgh is going to be defending the right side of your screen, heading towards the left side of your webcast screen. Looks to be another game here. The Hammerheads uh, took a, a defeat last, the first loss of the year here at Legion Stadium, 4-2 to, to Orlando City last week. We're getting ready for the start of this match. We're going to run down first for the visitors in goal number one, Hunter Gilstrap. Defense number five, Sterling Flunder. Number four, Nico Kadic. Number 13, Louis Rauco. Number 21, Shintaro Harada. In the midfield, number seven, Tommy Gray. Number 12, Mike Seth. Number 15, Ben Horner. Number 17, Sammy Apia. And up front for the Riverhounds, number eight, Matt Fondi. And number 11 jersey, Jason Yisley. For the Hammerheads, 26 uh, jersey, Brock Duckworth. He's in goal in the defense. Tom Parrott, Gareth Evans, number 23. Tom Parrott wearing number 12. Number 5, Ivan Becerra. Uh, also in the center back, in the left uh, back position, Dylan Riley, number 17 for the Hammerheads. Richard Jada, number 9 in the midfield. Paul Nicholson, 19. Luke Moholland, number 8. And Andres Cuero in the midfield, number 10. And up front for the Hammerheads, number 11, Andre Budny, and number 18, Chris Banks. Looks to be Pittsburgh will be kicking off this evening. Crowd continues to come in. It's a little light crowd this evening. Do believe there's a lot of uh, graduation things going on in town and is hurting the crowd here. Here we are underway here at Legion Stadium. With, again, United Soccer League's action, Pittsburgh Riverhounds and the Wilmington Hammerheads. Ball will travel out of bounds. Will be another throw for the Hammerheads. Our referees for this evening. Uh, in the middle, Justice Ab Abilo. And our linesman, Clive Edwards and Larry Williams. Also our fourth official, Dan Danny Thornsberry. Here's a ball played out of the back by Pittsburgh. We'll travel all the way back to Duckworth. Here's an opportunity just inside the box. Here's Budney. Gilstrap has to come off his line and make a good collection there. Budney definitely uh, one step shy of perhaps striking early here. Pittsburgh in all blue stripe with uh, just about the same color blue numbers. Very hard to see from up here at, in the press box at Legion Stadium. So we'll do the best that we can to get you most description of the players. Here's an opportunity for Pittsburgh. That's Matt Fondi. He's going to be whistled for a foul here, and Duckworth will be able to take a free kick coming out of their own end. There's a flick on here. 
And another foul whistled. I do believe that was Gareth Evans being called for the foul just into Hammerhead ter territory. Ball played into the box here. Duckworth's going to come and come out and get it for the Hammerheads. He pushes his defense up. And once again places the ball down on this artificial turf here at Legion Stadium. We're in the third, excuse me, fourth minute of this match. 0-0 zero, zero our score here. Here's a, another foul. Looks to be Ivan Becerra being undercut by Matt Fondi of the Riverhounds. A couple early fouls here whistled by Justice Abeto, our center referee. And Duckworth to take the free kick. His ball travels to the near side here and will be headed out of bounds. A hammerhead throw to be put back in play. Here's Parrott. Mulholland turns the corner here on this near side. He's going to get a cross in. Going to be served all the way across the box. No one really home. Here's Riley to get a touch, but he'll be out of bounds. Will be a throw in. Looks to be taken by Nico Kadic, number four jersey. All the way back to Tom Parrott, right back for the Hammerheads. Another stoppage in play. This one's looks to be a little chippy uh, early on here. I would imagine that Mr. Abeto in the center will be probably going to his pocket here anytime soon just to perhaps settle this one down. A few, chip, a few chippy uh, late plays on both sides. Fouls being called even here in the waning early moments. Duckworth once again for the Hammerheads. Duckworth the throw to Riley on the far side. Chris Banks trips a little bit. Uh, this turf has certainly uh, been a new addition to the stadium here at Legion Stadium. I do know that there was been a few injuries thus far. Not uh, Some fans, not real players, I should say, not real happy with this turf. They, Alex Grandy of the Hammerheads did his ACL on training earlier this week. Here's Caddick. Here's going to be an opportunity from Andre Budny of the Hammerheads. Ball won by the Pittsburgh defense. They're going to maintain possession here just in their side of the field all the way back across and around. Shintaro Harada.
Here's Rolko. Tries to find a long ball up. We'll travel all the way back to Duckworth again. Duckworth, Duckworth pushes his defense up. We'll have another long try out of the back here. Ball's going to be turned over at midfield. Pittsburgh on attack here. Harada heads the ball away for Pittsburgh. And one again by the Hammerheads. Turned over at midfield. That's a hard tackle by Harada. Play on, says the referee. Quero for the Hammers. Ball across. Going to be cut off by Gilstrap just inside the six. Quero wish he has had that one back. Certainly could have done more with that here. Ninth minute, Legion Stadium, your score, 0-0. Zero, zero. USLlive.com action, Pittsburgh Riverhounds, Wilmington Hammerheads. Here's Parrott to find Budney. Yasley knocked down to the turf, but again, no foul here. Gareth Evans wins the ball for the Hammerheads. Back all the way back to Ralco. Here's a streaking Boudini down this near side. He's going to get into the box here. Takes a ball, shot, blocked, and cleared away by the Riverhound defense. And another turnover here at midfield. Mulholland finds Parrott. And a good little sliding tackle to keep possession for the Hammerheads. Here's Quero. Here's going to be Dylan Riley to take a shot, but going to be well defended by Pittsburgh and Gilstrap walks out and collects the ball cleanly. It's going to be a long ball played out. And we are going to have our first corner. First corner of the evening here. Pittsburgh to have their attempt from the corner side. 11th minute. No real opportunities for either squads here. Ball played across and cleared by Evans. There's Becerra to clear it and have it travel all the way out on the far side will be a Pittsburgh throw in. Here's a long throw into the box. Evans again with the clear. It's going to be number five, Sterling Flunder, to play a ball into the box, but Duckworth is there. Sun setting here at Legion Stadium, that far side, just, just in the eyes of the onlookers from both benches, David Irving and his hammerhead side. And Justin Evans for... The Riverhounds, the head coach of the Riverhounds, just about into the shadow. So a few more minutes, they will be glare free. Here's Parrott on the near sideline, finds a Andre Boudini will be flagged for offsides.
Here's Pittsburgh with a long ball deep into Hammerhead territory. It's going to be off the defense again for our second corner of the evening. Here's going to be a goal for Pittsburgh off of an unmarked player. It's hard to see who from this angle who is the score, but nonetheless, it's 1-0 here in favor of Pittsburgh Riverhounds. We'll wait for the public address announcer to give us the goal score, but in the 14th minute, Pittsburgh takes a 1-0 lead. I do believe that that was Jason Yisley, if I'm correct there. Again, going to have to wait for our PA announcer. Here's a shot by Cuero, easily collected. That's uh, Matt Fondy who gets the goal, number eight. So Matt Fondy in the 14th minute here. Legion Stadium, 1-0 Pittsburgh. A little let down by the Hammerhead defense on that one. Uh, an unmarked Matt Fondy. Where's Nicholson's ball? He's going to turn over. It's a good tackle. Uh, our center referee makes a late decision here and awards Wilmington with a free kick. Here's Evans to play the ball into the box. Here's an opportunity. Here's Banks. Banks with a near miss. I do believe Gilstrap got a hand on that one, so it will be a corner kick coming up for the Hammerheads as well. Richard Jada to stand over the ball for the Hammers. He plays his ball in. Uh, here's... Opportunity by Becerra, but there's been a, a call. Mr. Beto in the middle has seen something that has rewarded the River Hounds with a free kick coming out of their own end. Becerra certainly got himself into a good position there, near near attempt for the hammer. Here's a long ball here over Parrott's head. Fondy, your goal scorer, he's going to be in the box. He's going to have a foul whistle against him. Here's Budney out wide to Mulholland, but a good defensive tackle here, and sure enough, the defense will be rewarded. Sterling Flunder to, well, he passes the ball up. And throw in for the Riverhounds. Becerra. And they'll be playing the ball out of bounds for, I do believe, Jason Yisley on the turf. Man down for the Riverhounds. Medical staff for the Hounds come onto the field. 
18th minute here, your score, Pittsburgh Riverhounds 1, home side Wilmington Hammerheads 0. Yeah, Jason Yasley, the 11, Jersey 4. Yasley's seems to be okay. Still being tended to on this near side by the medical staff. Pittsburgh throw, but will be going back, thrown to the Hammerheads, who placed the ball out of bounds to have Yasley tended to. Here's Basera, Paul Nicholson back from the midfield. Here's Banks, finds a Budney who's onside. He's going to place a ball, but there's about eight or nine Riverhounds in the box. Here's Cuero for the Hammerheads. He's got Moholland in the box. Here's a ball played across and will be taken out of bounds by the defense. Another corner kick coming up for the Hammerheads. They're on the wrong side of a one goal lead. 20th minute here, Legion Stadium. This is Jada. And again, a Becerra finds himself in a position to get a free header, but got underneath of that one. Heads over the bar, no real danger for Hunter Gilstrap in goal for the Riverhounds. He will be having a goal kick here. Parrot wins the ball for the Hammerheads. Shintaro Harada wins the ball and placed out of bounds. Kadic over the out of bounds line will be a throw in for the Hammerheads. There's a ball flicked on. Yeah, Isley's going to be whistled for offsides here. Parrott settles the ball and plays the ball down the line for Budney, who takes one off the shin and out of bounds. Will be a throw in for the Hammerheads, excuse me, for Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Here's another flick on by Yisley. He's going to have a Matt Fondi to be rewarded with a throw in coming here. Gareth Evans felt he was grabbed there by Fondi, but center referee says play on. Here's a little. Little situation in the box here. I do believe Gareth Evans and Fondi wanted to continue on the play that they just went through out on the sideline. A little bit uh, embellished, I do believe, by Fondi.
Here's a long throw coming for into the box. Ball's going to be headed down and away. Here's Mulholland at the top of the box. And referee says that's enough in the box down there and rewards the Hammerheads with the free kick. It's Mike Seth win, winning the ball for the Riverhounds. Duckworth's ball stays in bounds. Arada plays to Flunder. Flunder on the near side. And ball flicked out by Fondi. Here's the Riverhounds. Tommy Gray on the attack. He's going to find himself in the box. Cross coming and a good defensive play by Dylan Riley. But out of bounds. And another corner kick. Same spot that in the 14th minute. This Riverhound team found their first goal of the evening. Ball played across again. There's Duckworth to come off the line. He takes a shot. No foul to be whistled there. Ball served in the box again. Here's going to be an opportunity. There's a Duckworth's upset. He took a shot. He's having his words with Mr. Abeto in the center. And it will be a goal kick. Twenty-five minutes gone by here in this United Soccer League's action. Pittsburgh Riverhounds one. The home side, Wilmington Hammerheads zero. Ball's gonna be won by Riley. And last touch by Riley will be. Just at midfield, right over there in front of the Port City Firm. Port City Firm, the official supporters group of the Hammerheads. Energetic bunch. They, Most of them have their blue and white jerseys on as well. And they're banging of their drums and waving of their flags. That's a spirited group that really are passionate about these Hammerheads here. Certainly a group happy that the Hammerheads have come back after a year off from the United Soccer Leagues. One of the perennial powerhouses in the United Soccer League second division for many years. They won a national championship in 2003. These fans here at the, in the Port City really loved their hammerheads and were glad that they came back. Here's a foul whistled for Pittsburgh. Tom Parrott to be whistled for the foul. They have a quick restart, but he's going to. Mr. Beto is going to stop play to tend here to this injured Riverhound. Southern Sign Company is responsible for a majority of the banners and signs located throughout Legion Stadium. Southern Sign Company does it all from office doors to even company cars. The Hammerheads would also like to thank the official jeweler of the Wilmington Hammerheads, Reeves Jewelers. At every regular season game, be sure to look inside your game day program to see the Hammerhead Man of the Match. This is going to be Tommy Gray to take the free kick for the Riverhounds. His shot into the two-man wall here. Cuero is going to turn the ball over right at midfield. Mo Holland to settle all the way to the near side here. Here's Parrott. And a long ball to a streaking Andre Boudney. Boudney's going to get a touch, and he's going to score a goal. There's three defenders there for the Riverhounds, but what an absolute brilliant goal by Andre Boudney, the 11, number 11 jersey for the Hammerheads. 
about a 40, 40, 50 yard ball from right back. Tom Parrott plays a great ball into the box. Uh, streaking Andre Budny. 28th minute, and this game's back to level. 28th minute, Andre Budny, number 11 for the Hammerheads. Assist again by number number 12, Tom Parrott. Here's Pittsburgh in the box, cleared by Evans. Here's going to be a shot taken. He keeps. That's going to be, I do believe, Ben Horner. I'm sorry, that's Sammy Apia. He does a good job to keep that one down, but just wide of the framework. 1-1, one, one, your score here, Pittsburgh Riverhounds, Wilmington Hammerheads, 29th minute. And going to be defended by the Hammerheads and turned over again at midfield. Referee calls another foul for the Hammers. Here's Chris Banks. He's going to have a shot. Louis Rocco gets his boot in front of that one. Here's Jada. Parrott keeps possession. Here's a ball down deep in the corner. Chris Banks for the hammer. Plays one across. Here's an opportunity. That Tom Parrott all the way up from the right back position. He finds himself in the box. Has a swing and a miss. Here's Rolko. Here's a turnover, Mulholland. And here's Mr. Abeto, center referee, finally putting someone in the books here. Do you believe that's number 17, Sammy Apia. And a throw in going to be called back and asked to be moved back a little bit here on this near sideline just in front of the Hammerhead dance team. Always a fun part of the evening here. For some extra added entertainment for the Hammerheads. There's Parrott to turn the ball over again. Defended well by Mulholland. This is Flunder. Mulholland all the way across the field to Dylan Riley. Hammerheads on attack here. And a turnover just at midfield. And 
There's a bump by Becerra. And Becerra finds himself in the books for his reaction to the foul there. So in the 34th minute, Ivan Becerra. Sarah picking up his yellow card caution. That's Mr. Beto's second card of the evening. But Sarah didn't like the foul in the first place and certainly left the, let the referee know, I'm sure, what he thought about it. Here's a ball played across and cleared out by Evans. Corner kick coming. Here's the ball that's played out. Hammerhead's dodged another bullet there for certainly what was a problem in the 14th minute off that s corner from that same side. Matt Fondi finding the back of the net. Here's Quero. All the way back to Gilstrap. And Banks wanted a little piece of that one, but. Here's Harada. And another long ball by Tom Parrott. Well played by Harada. Here's Paul Nicholson. Yeah, good job here on this near sideline. Tom Parrott does well to keep the ball in. Here comes Pittsburgh. Yeah, well tackled out of bounds. Ivan Becerra on the far sideline. Here's a throw deep into the box, and it's going to be thrown into the goal. Let go by Duckworth. No goal, of course, will be a goal kick. Those throw-ins are indirect. Sure enough, ball was thrown from the far sideline directly into the goal. Untouched, so no goal. Duckworth to take the goal kick here. His ball to sail across well into Pittsburgh territory. Here's a streaking. Andre Squero, but uh, doesn't really do much. He's going to be whistled for a foul here. Shintaro Harada is brought down just inside of his goal box. Here's Gilstrap. His ball to sail deep in. It's going to be headed back. Duckworth does a good job to keep this one in bounds. And Matt Fondi gives a little, little pressure from 
his front forward position on Brock Duckworth. Here's a foul called for Pittsburgh. Free kick to travel all the way into the hammerhead box. And we'll travel out over the end line. Will be another goal kick. And the Hammerheads maintain possession just inside of Pittsburgh territory. Mulholland to play a long ball. Jot of the throw for the Hammerheads. Here's Nicholson. Well defended. Shintaro Harada. Here's Mulholland brought down. No foul. Certainly thought one should have been whistled there. Ball will travel out. Fans wanted a handball. Here's Mulholland on this far side here. He's going to get in the box. He's going to be brought down, but nothing going. Goal kick whistled. Center referee certainly has had his hands full this evening. Ball one by Tom Parrott. Here's Cuero. Mulholland slows his pace and keeps possession. Here's Paul Nicholson all the way around. Tom Parrott again for the Hammerheads. Ball played into the box. And an attempt by Luke Mulholland. No real danger over the end line here. It's 41st minute. Still tied, 1-1. Pittsburgh Riverhound striking first in the 14th minute. Hammerheads coming level 14 minutes after that at the 28th minute mark. And you're tied, 1-1 here. USLlive.com action, United Soccer Leagues. Long ball settled and turned by Shintaro Harada. Mulholland's going to be there for the Hammerheads. He's going to play a ball into the box, but Harada's going to be there. He plays it out over the end line. Will be a hammerhead corner kick coming. A few minutes left here. Little injury and a few goals. I would imagine will be two to three minutes probably put uh, put up by this fourth official on the far sideline here. Here's a ball played across. Gilstrap comes off his line punching. Mulholland has an attempt, but Flunder is there. Mapia to go all the way across the field. Hammerheads will gain possession there with a throw in. Here's Nicholson to Parrott.
And Dylan Riley gets in a little trouble, but the Hammers keep possession here. Here's Banks. Ball played across and well defended and out of bounds. Sterling Flunder. Matt Fonda, your your Pittsburgh goal scorer, knocks one out of bounds. Good turn, but ran out of real estate uh, on this near sideline. Luke Moholland. There's a little bit of miscommunication here on top of the 18. The Hammerhead survive. Richard Jada to give pressure on Harada all the way back to Gilstrap. And Gareth Evans whistled for a foul here, holding on to Jason Yisley. He's going to be told to keep his opinion to himself. So he's in the books here. Second yellow card caution in the 45th minute. Gareth Evans finds himself in the books. Here's going to be Tommy Gray. No, he leaves it for Matt Fondy. Well defended by the wall here. Here's a foul on Matt Fondy. Andre Budney whistled here. And once again, Tommy Gray. Gray's ball straight to Duckworth. No real pressure there. And 45 minutes shown on the clock here at Legion Stadium, but a few minutes probably definitely added on for a few injuries and a few stoppage of play and certainly two goals. Here's Paul Nicholson in the center of the park to Evans. And a little flick on. But well defended. Here's the Hammerheads again. Cuero finds uh, Moholland on the far side, but going to be out of bounds. Last touch, though, by this Pittsburgh defense, and it's going to be a corner kick here in the waning moments of the first half. 1-1 one, one your score, Hammers. Hammerhead Richard Jada will take the kick to try to put these hammers home, home side. Wilmington Hammerheads up. They're deadlocked at one here right now. Here's a ball across. Ball's going to bounce a couple times in the six-yard line box, but no one there to knock it home. No one really there to defend either, but Hammerheads will have a throw in, made it all the way through traffic there. And played out of bounds. Here's a shot taken by Jada, but no trouble for Gilstrap. Referee checks his watch. Probably going to be ending it pretty soon here. And there he goes. That's whistled for half. Your score here, 1-1 on a goal first by Pittsburgh. Number eight, Matt Fondi in the 14th minute. And Andre Budney for the Hammerheads off an assist by number 12, Tom Parrott. That's your score here at halftime, 1-1. Certainly uh, 
even game thus far. The score shows it on the scoreboard, and referees are getting a little lip from a little discussion from both teams here at halftime. But as, that is your first half here on USLLive.com. We're going to take a little break here, enjoy the halftime entertainment. We'll be back shortly for the second half. And welcome back to USLLive.com, United Soccer League's action with Pittsburgh Riverhounds 1, Wilmington Hammerheads 1. We're set, getting set for the second half here. First half was certainly deadlocked in action. Both sides having a few opportunities to score more than they did, so pretty even here. Goal scored in the 14th minute by Pittsburgh's number 8, Matt Fondi. The assist coming from number 7, uh, Tommy Gray for the Pittsburgh River Hounds. And in the 28th minute, number 11, Andre Budney, off an assist by number 12, Tom Parrott, equalized this match and where we are here. And we're about ready to start the second half at Legion Stadium in Wilmington, North Carolina. United Soccer League's action on USLive.com. Hammerheads on the ball. They will be getting the kick to start this second half here. And for some reason, we had a false start here. Now we'll get things under the way. Ball played deep. It's going to be Nico Kadic to watch the ball travel over the inline for Pittsburgh. Will be a goal kick coming up for Hunter Gilstrap. He was tested a couple times in this first half. He's done well to... Only allow one goal this evening on his side. His kick travels into Hammerhead territory. Here's a flick on be Dylan Riley for the Hammers. This is Jada. Chris Banks in the corner for the Hammerheads. He's going to try to turn the corner here. He's, he does a good job at that. He's going to be in the box, takes one, I do believe, off the post there on the near side. Gilstrap looked to see uh, if he could uh, let it go, but it hit the post here. Here's an opportunity. Matt Fondi. And Duckworth to play a long ball. Here's Becerra for the Hammerheads. And a little push in the back. Foul whistled by our center referee, Justice Abeto. Gareth Evans to take the free kick for the Hammerheads. Here's Jada. He's going to be brought down just at the top of the box. Hammerhead's free kick coming in a dangerous situation. Gilstrap's given some orders here to set his wall. This is going to be just outside of the 18. So a free kick coming for the Hammerheads about 19 yards out. Looks to be Andre Boudini. An array of hammerhead players there. Not quite sure who's going to take this kick, but 
Certainly a scoring opportunity. Big wall set four or five man wall. Here's ball gonna be played just into the wall. That's Jada. Riley plays a long ball, excuse me, a short ball into the box here. Here's an opportunity, a swing and a miss by Chris Banks. And clear, but not out of danger yet. Mulholland puts it to the far side. And an opportunity for Budney, but he puts his header just over the end line. Gilstrap watches it safely over the end line and will be a goal kick for him. Well, a little bit of activity here in the early moments of the second half. Your score, 1-1 here at Legion Stadium. This is Flunder. Great music and great friends. The Harp is the official post-game headquarters of your Wollington Hammerheads. Fans, be sure to check out 360Wollington.com. Flunder to keep to possession here. Zappia. And we'd also like to thank Pat Nicola and the Stevens. And Harado coming out of the back. Near side, Tommy Gray with the ball. Always coming, always earning the right to be the client's first choice, RBC Bank. And ball cleared out. Here's Kadic. Keeps the ball back to Harada for the Riverhounds. This is Matt Fondi. Lewis. Excuse me, Riley with a little back heel in his own defense. Ball travels out of bounds. Will be a throw in for Pittsburgh. Ball thrown in the box and cleared by Evans. Mulholland's ball is intercepted by Flunder. Here's Caddick to play a ball deep into the box and cleared again by Evans all the way almost to midfield. That's going to be a foul whistled on Chris Banks. Free kick coming for the Riverhounds. Shintaro Harada exchanges duties here for Tommy Gray to take a kick for the Riverhounds. Duckworth's going to come out to cut this one off. Fifty-first minute. Score still tied, one-one here. Ball's going to travel out of bounds. Richard Jada to take the throw for the Hammers, and he lets Dylan Riley take the throw. Here's Jada, and Becerra will go all the way around back. Here's Gareth Evans. And the ball coming in the box. Here's an opportunity. And it's going to be cleaned up by Gilstrap. Banks just couldn't quite get a foot on that to have an attempt at goal. Gilstrap's there and back pedals to tidy up that ball. And Gray plays the ball off of Richard Jada for a throw for the Riverhounds. Riverhounds traveling on your screen from left to right. They're in the all blue uniform. Hammerheads are in a blue and white striped top with white shorts and white socks. Here's Chris Banks for the Hammerheads. He's going to be getting close towards the goal here. He's going to be brought down. No foul. Whistled and Gilstrap secures the ball and quickly plays it out to the far side. Here's Flunder. Here's Caddick. 
And then Yasley all the way back from the forward position. And well defended by Becerra. Here's Harada. Here's Flunder. And he's going to have an attempt, but not quite sure if that was a cross or a shot, but somewhere there in between. Duckworth there to pick up the scraps, and he's going to wait for Matt Fondy to back up a little bit, and he plays his long ball. Play on, says the referee. Ball, ball well defended by Paul Nicholson. Here's Mulholland to Boudney. Hammerhead certainly missing the help from Alex Grendy. Recently did his ACL this past week here on this very surface in training. This field turf uh, new this season laid here. It used to be a beautiful natural grass surface, but uh, was replaced to carry a little more traffic. Some of the other local teams, local high school, plays their football and other high school sports on this field. Already some early injuries due to the turf. Here's Flunder. And a big defensive header by Dylan Riley. Here's Chris Banks. He's going to be able to bring the ball down. He's going to take on two or three defenders. He's going to have an attempt, and he's going to find the back of the net. That's a hammerhead goal. Chris Banks, your number 18 for the hammerheads, takes on two or three defenders, beats them at the top of the box, and a shot about 18 yards out beats Hunter Gilstrap. In the 55th minute, gives the Hammerheads a lead. Number 18, Chris Banks. Two to one, your score here. Not quite sure who gave him that ball, but he certainly uh, brought that one down well and took on several defenders and did a great job to have a strike at goal. There's going to be another long throw here into the box for the Riverhounds. They're on the other end of the score this evening for the first time. Here's Caddick. He's battling with Quero down here in the corner. He does a good job to find Tommy Gray. Plays a great ball across. Here's going to be Duckworth. He's done a great job to come out and punch that one away. Boudini plays a ball out. Brock Duckworth does a great job on that last ball there. Certainly a bending ball away from him from Tommy Gray. No one home for Pittsburgh to be on the other end of that great cross. There's Flunder all the way back to Rocco. Hammerhands gain possession here at midfield. Here's a Richard Jot is going to find Chris Banks, recent goal scorer for the Hammerheads. He's going to have another attempt, not quite as dangerous as the last one. And that ball travels out over the end line. Will be a goal kick for. Pittsburgh here, but that player, that man, number 18, a few minutes ago taking this game out of deadlock, 2-1 to one, the Hammerheads. You see several Hammerhead players back there behind the goal warming up. David Irving will probably be making a few changes here. Now that he has the lead, we'll be bringing on some fresh legs. 
to finish out this contest. Nicholson has his clearance turned over. Here's Duckworth. Riley's going to gain possession here. He finds Mulholland. And Jada. Jada has been whistled for a handball. He's going to get a talking to. Uh, an absolute poor decision out here, I think, from Justice Abeto. Puts Richard Jada in the 59th minute here Richard Jada finding his way into the books yeah you know it was a little bit after the whistle that he had an attempt at goal but certainly not enough to warrant a yellow card caution that's just a little petty in my opinion here there's Gilstrap to play a ball towards the Hammerheads goal Here's Cuero does a good job to settle the ball. He's going to have Mulholland. Mulholland's going to be able to find his way into the goal, and he's going to find the back of the net. There he goes, Luke Mulholland doing a little tumbling after he scores. A little Oompa Loompa somersault over on the far side. That's another hammerhead goal. Puts them up 3-1. Number eight, Luke Moholland. Andres Cuero, number 10 for the Hammerheads, getting the assist. That's uh, a second goal coming here in, in about five minutes, and that is what the Hammerheads have used to take a three to one lead. 60 minutes showing in the clock. On the clock, 59th minute goal by Luke Moholland. Great little finish here. Hammerheads take a sizable lead and they'll probably want more here. Here's a turnover in the box. Nico Caddick slips and stumbles over the ball a little bit and Cuero's there to Cause a little problem. Here's Mulholland. He has a cross coming and not out of danger yet. And now it's cleared straight up in the air. Here's Mulholland again. He's going to serve a ball into the box. Ooh, there's a tough, tough opportunity, tough clearance there. But well defended by Pittsburgh. Do believe that that's was a clearance by Louis Rocco. Hammerhead's in the driving seat here. 61st minute. Pittsburgh giving up two goals in the last five minutes here and they got some work to do here to bring this one back into their grasps. Here's Becerra. Flunder does, a, does well to keep the ball in, plays the ball up to Jason Yisley. Crowd definitely seems a little more energized at this point, finding their hammerheads up 3-1. to one. Gareth Evans tries to turn the corner with it and clears it up into the stands over there at the Port City Firm. And David Irving gets a little touch on the ball.
Irving has been here with the Hammerhead since 1999. Every year on the sidelines except for last year where the team took a year hiatus. Irving had a great playing career in England in both both England and the United States of the old NASL down there with the Fort Lauderdale Strikers. Here's Becerra to clear from his box. Contested on the far side. And referee's going to say that it was last touched by the Hammerheads and it will be a Pittsburgh Riverhound throw coming. I do believe that that's Mike Seth on the far side. He's got a pretty long throw on him. He'll throw this one into the box here and try to get ball into danger. Here's Duckworth to easily collect the ball. Duckworth has a booming punt that's Rocco to get a foot on it. Here's the Hammerheads again to keep possession. And Duckworth puts a ball out of bounds. Sixty-fifth minute here at Legion Stadium. Your score three to one on a little flurry by the Hammerheads. Just in the fifty-five through sixtieth minute, they put up two goals onto the board, and that's where they stand. Three to one, your score here, ball. Travels into the far side bench. David Irving looks on as he's probably about ready to make a change here to get some fresh legs on to preserve this lead that his Hammerhead squad has. Here's a throw in by the Hammerheads. And Paul Nicholson wins a header over Pittsburgh defense. Flunder takes a little turn back to his goalkeeper, Gilstrap. He's going to find the ball to be out of bounds here at Hammerheads to take the throw. Cuero leaves it for Dylan Riley. I do believe a substitution actually for Pittsburgh first. Shintaro Harada looks as if he is leaving. This is probably going to be a ploy by Justin Evans. Steven Lumberg, number 14 for, for Pittsburgh, is coming in. Probably going to be a little bit more of an offensive threat here. They'll change their formation a little bit to try to regain some of the game back that they lost just in a little flurry of the 55th through 60th minute. Two goals by the Hammerheads, one by number 18, Chris Banks and Luke Moholland taking the Hammerheads, and that's where we sit here in the 67th minute and looks as if David Irving is doing some changes as well. Tom Parrott, you're right back. Chris Spenlove's going to come in for the Hammerheads. So Tom Parrott, he had an assist earlier on that first goal for the Hammerheads. A great long ball out of the, the back. He's going to get a rest here. And Chris Spenlove for the Hammerheads comes in. And we're back to action here. Here's Mulholland, referee. Probably could have allowed some advantage there, but Mr. Abeto certainly has had his input on some things. This is Mulholland and Jada over the ball. And here's an attempt in the box, and it's going to be headed over the line. Another corner kick coming for the Hammerheads. Almost every player in the box here, very, very busy here. Hammerheads certainly want more here. Here's an opportunity, and it's going to be 
handled by Gilstrap. We'll come all the way to this other, this near side here and take another corner kick for the Hammerheads. Gilstrap does well with that one to keep that one out of the net and surviving a, a fourth strike. Here's Richard Jada. And it gets all the way across through everybody. Be a goal kick coming up for Gilstrap. Gareth Evans puts a ball straight up in the air. His ball will travel out of bounds. Flunder for the Riverhounds. Keeps possession, goes all the way back to Rolko. Kept in play there by Steven Lundberg. And Gareth Evans has to make a decision on what to do with it. He just puts it up into the stands here. It'd be throw for Pittsburgh. They need to get going here because they are down two goals here. Here's a hard tackle. Hard tackle by Chris Spenlove on this near side here. But David Irving looks to be making another substitution on this far side here. Chris Banks is going to be leaving the game this evening. I do believe this is number 14, Jyler Noviello comes in. Jyler definitely is the utility guy here in waning, waning moments, uh, certainly uh, when they have a, have a lead. Big body in the box, he bangs around. Kind of the cleanup crew coming in for the Hammerhead. Here's a nasty tackle. That's Sammy Apia. He already has a yellow card and certainly avoiding an op situation there where he could have taken an early exit. This is Gareth Evans for the Hammerheads. It's an indirect free kick. Uh, whistled for dangerous play here. Here's a ball that's going to just head over the ball. That's it's actually Chris Spenlove who had an attempt. Gilstrap to take the goal kick. About 20 more minutes left here in this contest. Pittsburgh has some work to do. They drew first blood, but three unanswered goals by the Hammerheads. Here's going to be an attempt that's still in play here. Ball across is going to be cleared by Evans. Pittsburgh certainly not done yet, but they do have some work to do. Here's an opportunity. This is going to be just outside. Matt's, Matt Fondy wishes he had that one back. He certainly should have put that one away.
Duckworth takes his time. Here's another substitution by David Irving in his side. Jack Avison coming in. Here's Avison right off the bat. His first touches. He's going to be brought down. That's going to be a hard tackle. And our center referee is going to put someone in the books here. He's not real happy. That's a hard foul, I do believe. Surprise, no card on that one. He certainly gets a, get the cards out for some mouth, but that might have been one that's warranted. This is going to be Boudini. He plays a serve across, not out of danger yet. Still not cleared yet. Here's it's going to be a foul on Jyler Noviello. Gilstrap to take this free kick here. And looks to be another substitution here. Boudini, uh, he's going to take a seat. Number seven, Tanner Wolf. Matt Fondy's coming out for Pittsburgh. Jeremy Dayton, number 16, is taking his spot. And this Caddick with a nifty little move to keep possession all the way across. That's Rolko. Here's Flunder. Rolko again. And play on, says the referee there. Well defended by the Hammerheads. Here's Becerra. Evan steps his way up through. Caddick there to head the ball. Davison decides to slow things down for his hammerheads. They're sitting atop a 3-1 lead here. Here's Spenlove. No one there to be receiving his little flick. Here's the hammerheads again, gaining possession. Done a pretty good job of defending tonight. Only one little blemish on there. Scorecard, a goal coming in the 14th minute. Well, we've got three unanswered goals here to bring us to our score, three to one at Legion Stadium. The 70th, 77th minute. Gilstrap will hurry this up and take a goal kick to put this one back into play. Osley flicks the ball on, but Tanner Wolf for the Hammers can't quite get there. Here's Noviello. He earns a throw in deep in the corner on the far side here. 
check out your Valpac blue envelope or go online to Valpac.com for ways to save on Hammerheads tickets. Valpac is an official sponsor of the Wellington Hammerheads. Hammerheads fans define what you're really looking for. There Here's Evans. More ways to find with the real yellow pages. Avison's going to keep the ball and he's going to turn the corner. Late foul here by Dylan Riley. Mike Seth is going to be leaving the game here for the Riverhounds. Matt Tuttle, number 10, coming in for Pittsburgh. This one's going to travel all the way back to Gilstrap. Jada wins the ball for the Hammerheads. There's Mulholland back to Jada. He's brought down from behind. Free kick coming for the Hammers. Just shy of midfield right there in front of Justin Evans' bench. He can't be real happy with the way that this one has turned out tonight. He saw his team with an early lead but wasn't able to hold on. Here's Evans. Noviello wins one. Here's an opportunity. There's going to be a shot taken. Jack Iverson. Avison puts the ball over the net. Eighty first minute. Time's wasting for the Riverhounds to get back. Get two goals back that they lost in a Little five minute period. And Avison's first touch is going to be a little too heavy, and that travels out of bounds deep in the far side here on your screen. Flunder to take the throw for Pittsburgh. And Richard Jada coming off for the Hammerheads here. Another substitution by David Irving, number 25, Diego Barrera coming in. That should do it for the substitutions this evening on at least the Hammerhead side. And Evans there to keep possession. Here's Barrera. Barrera's going to serve a ball in the box. Mulholland. Tries a little flick header, but nowhere near Gilstrap's goal. He's going to have a goal kick here. Big Gareth Evans had come up and gotten a hold of that header there. This is Jyler Noviello. His cross is going to sail well behind the goal.
Hammerhead fans seem to be feeling comfortable about this one. They're starting to get an early jump on traffic here at Legion Stadium. They're finding the exits. But there's a uh, little more action left to go in this one, I feel. And a little tangle of players in the hammerhead end. Here's Apia. He's going to find Bl Flunder all the way. Flunder knocks a ball over there to Matt Tuttle, but Tuttle can't get a hold of it. It's going to be a hammerhead throw in here. 84 minutes on the scoreboard clock. Probably just another minute or two added after this one reaches 90. Here's Gilstrap to take a long ball into the Hammerhead's side of the field. Flunder gets a touch and that ball will travel across the sideline. Hammers to throw again. Here's Jyler Noviello. And the Pittsburgh defense to head the ball out. Another corner kick coming here. As Jack Avison will allow Diego Barrera to take it. Here's going to be a Chris Spenlove attempt at goal, and it's going to be just over the bar there. Gilstrap had a pretty good handle on things there and doesn't quite get uh, touched but his hands were definitely up there he'll take a goal kick to get this one back into the action here's Mo Holland And Avison waits for Diego to take a strike. And Becerra's there to defend this one. Duckworth to play out of his end. There's Caddick. A little trouble with that, and that ball's going to travel out of bounds. This near side official linesman well on the play. Hammerheads will take a throw here. Well in control of this one. If this one stands. The Hammerheads will take a 17th point. They'll jump to 5-2-2. Two and two. They're still kind of near the bottom on their table but they certainly have some games in hand some of the other teams above them have three or four games played more most likely Pittsburgh will drop to two seven and three and they're near the bottom of of their table over there in the national division here's Tuttle and his shot is blocked. Dylan Riley. Tuttle's going to get around the side. He's going to play a ball across. Well defended by the Hammerheads. Here they come. Jack Avison, he's going to find a far side ball. And turned over. He wish he had that one back. But they still have it. Hammer's still on attack, but they play it out of bounds, and Pittsburgh will try for one or two last attempts here to salvage something out of this game. But Here's 
Sammy Apia takes one off of his face there and does a good job to remain standing. Here's a throw for the Hammers. Noviello and Caddick tussle a little bit. All the way back to Gilstrap. Here's Lundberg. The Isley can't keep possession, so turns the ball over, as do the Hammerheads. Noviello wrestles and wins that one. Here to Spinlove on this near side. He turns his defender. Here's Mulholland. Mulholland's going to have an attempt just, just bending around that far post. And quickly approaching the 90th minute. Ball is going to travel over the end line here, and Gilstrap will have one last attempt here. But this game's pretty well in hand once again. Fourth official shows two minutes on the far side, so we'll have two minutes of extra time here. Here's going to be a fall, foul. Called on the Hammerheads. So about two minutes left in this contest. Hammerheads will hold on here to pick up their fifth win of the season. Four of those wins coming in the comfort of their home field here at Legion Stadium. Only loss was last week to league, excuse me, division leader, American division leader Orlando City. They lost here at Legion Stadium four to two. Let that one slip away. They were certainly in charge of that one as well. And Orlando just took over in about the last 20 minutes of that game and scored two goals to put that one away. They were deadlocked at two for a while. So Hammerhead seemed to rebound well and win another game here in the likes of their own home. Legion Stadium, North Carolina, home of the Wilmington Hammerheads. They've been around since 1996 this club and ball is going to be cleared and Caddick has a little trouble with it Novello and Caddick will go at it there's Rocco Ball's going to be played over the near sideline. Barrera sends it all the way to the far side. Dylan. Riley has a little trouble with that, and they turn the ball over. Here comes Pittsburgh for just can't seem to break break the hammerhead defense tonight. And Becerra puts this one well off the pitch.
and this ball is going to be cleared by Spin Love. Here's Mulholland. He's going to keep the ball here. And puts the ball up to Jack Avison. These hammers want more. Sends it back in this cross in, but Flunder's going to be there to head it. And there's going to be the final whistle. Center referee Justice Abeto has put this one in the books. The final score here at Legion Stadium. Pittsburgh Riverhounds got on the board early in first to get their one goal, but the Hammerheads finished up the game scoring two goals between the 55th and the 60th minute. This game's final, 3-1. to one.